just critiqued my parking, and so I'm just kind of got off guard. I'm I, there's there's like two sh two Costco shopping carts worth of space between that car and one shopping cart between this car. I don't think you get shopping cart between there. That's why I was wondering. I think I can. It's okay. Do you think you're on the white line, or do you think you're? Should we see? You yeah, let's see. let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see where the white line is. You got it. Oh, I have a foot. I can't see it. And there's a foot. A f like you're not on the white line. No, not at all. Oh, well, good job, hon. Sorry, hon. <laughs> Sorry, hon. We're at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> we both had long days, so we're both <clears throat> tired of my throat. Tidbit snipply with each other. So we'll see how Costco goes. And the only reason why we're going to Costco at seven o'clock at night after a long day is because I'll let you explain it. Well, I mean, it's I'll, really I'll crazy. It. Oh, you'll hold it? Okay. It's really crazy. Everyone is really flipping out about this coronavirus thing. And I know it's important, but people are like swarming Costco's and, and, and grocery stores. I don't know why they're buying bottled water because the faucets still work even during a virus. So I don't understand why they're getting bottled water and crap. But uh, who knows? They're talking about you know, maybe they close schools. Everyone's just flipping out. So we well, there are school districts in our state I know. that are closed. That's great. But you still don't need extra toilet paper for that. But whatever. Uh, we just thought everyone else is panicking. Let's just get supplies. Let's just get ready in case they wig out. I mean, I don't know. No, how it's not about survive, it's not but. about wigging out. It's about being prepared in case. Guess what? I don't think that they're gonna make people go on quarantine and stay at home for two weeks. Only unless you get it. And you know you have it, but most people are just gonna get sick, probably won't even know they've got it. They'll just get over it unless you're elderly, unless you're really young. I understand that. All I'm saying is if our school district is shut down to clean the building or do whatever the state says that they need to do, whatever the case may be, I have four kids at home. Yes, you can go to work and you can try and sell shoes, I but I've got four kids at home. Food. And I'm not going to go to stores at that point. In our area, if they are shutting down schools and doing that kind of a thing, I'm certainly not going to come to Costco on Thursday by myself to try and find supplies because... It would actually be good if everybody stayed home. Then it would be nice at Costco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever. Either way, we're just going to get stuff in case... We're not getting regular groceries. It feels like we're on the verge of like you know, that Z movie with Brad Pitt or something. And so we're like, just to be cautious, we're gonna get some supplies, not bottled water because the faucet will still work. But I am getting toilet paper because I'm not gonna get stuck without toilet paper. We'll get toilet paper. The we shelves toilet paper. are clearing. They like- That's really the only reason why I want to do this is because supplies are going quick. They are going down. And Costco's gonna be bringing them in because guess what? We're not in Wuhan. Okay. So we'll get supplies. Wuhan even got supplies. Either way, this is what we're doing. Come check it out. This is our yeah. coronavirus scare <laughs> action plan. And I need to remind myself to not do this late at night. This is late at night for us. We're tired and we're, he's going to start getting all up in my grill. And I kind of want to walk around and like sneeze and sniffle and be like, oh man, uh, you know, ever since I got back from China, like my throat just hurts. You're such a brat. This is why I didn't want to do this. I knew he would get like this. So awful. See guys, this is what I'm talking about. There's eggs. There's no eggs. So get two of those. So we're too late on the toilet paper and the eggs apparently. There's none. They've moved straight to, straight to diapers on this section that's supposed to be all paper towels and diapers. Or and toilet paper. So I don't know where we're gonna get toilet paper. We're gonna Target. So that's Jason's uh, emergency supply. Gotta have it, man. You guys, it's like completely empty. And apparently, no one worries about chicken melts. <laughs> Maybe not Echoes, but that's pretty low for Echoes. Oh, the top shelf is Echoes too. So, <laughs> so I guess we're not getting any bread. You guys, the upper shelves are completely gone. Actually, those are the bars the girls want. Did you get those? Um, they're over there on the other side, and then this is all gone. There's no flour. So, so far, the things that we needed, we need flour and eggs, and they don't have those, and toilet paper. So we're gonna have to go find that. Turn 
gonna slam for a second, of things that we did not get are actually the key things that we need to get. So we're gonna go find another store at this point. And we're late to the game just because I couldn't have done all of this by myself. And he didn't want me to. We usually have flour, but we yeah. just ran low. Well, we go through so it. We do. We, um, every Sunday we're making stuff, if not more. Yeah, so we, we buy the 25 pound bag of we, flour. We actually have toilet paper, but. I just don't know how Since long it's going to need to last. The stores are running out of it. It's like, I guess we should get some. Like, I've never known Costco to not have toilet paper. So we need toilet paper, flour, eggs, bread. Um, we just didn't get the deli meat that they had. We like all ham, and they only have like a ham and turkey combo, and our older girls won't eat the turkey. Um, pasta. There's no pasta. no pasta. There's no potatoes, and there's no vegetable oil. So those aren't necessary, but if we find them at the, pasta is necessary. Pasta is necessary. Our girls eat pasta like crazy. I should probably, if we're going to Fred Meyer, I'll probably grab some rice. I thought we were going to Target. What did I just say? Target or Fred Meyer? You said Fred Meyer, but I thought we were going to Target. Um, well, we're, Fred Meyer's right here, so you might be like, okay. so I we don't, don't have to double back. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't know what the better deals are. I'm, just tell me where to Fred go. Fred Meyer will be okay. I don't know. It's kind of a hard thing to figure out at 8 o'clock at night, but I really think this is starting to like... Seeing how it was at Costco today on a Monday night when they had, you know, a crazy. huge weekend of this same scenario. And they weren't even prepping to put more stuff out, you guys. They had a full staff of people at closing time and there was no like crates getting ready to be put into they the aisles. Went, they probably went through about a week's worth, two weeks worth of regular stock yeah. in the last three days, I bet. Because they usually have it above and those are all gone. Yeah, like the above sections, the above shelves were all gone. So they're out of stock. Okay, we're at Fred Meyer now and there's no flour or sugar. Uh, and they have sugar. You don't need sugar though. All right, bread is gone here too, so no luck there. Here, let's get some bagels. Get the blueberry bagel. Ooh, that French toast. What? Might as well. Oh, the mini ones. Get the mini ones back there. All right, while we wait to check out, I'll just show you quickly what we got here. We got potatoes, peanut butter, Alfredo sauce, pasta packets. I got some chicken stock and all the, oh, moon pies. Emergency. Okay. And we got bagels to freeze so that we can use those later and big ones. And then we bought 10 boxes of pasta, one of these guys, and then some more fettuccine. We got like eight of these ones because they're only like 48 cents. Actually, these ones were 25 cents each. And then we got some oil and two containers of eggs. And these are good to, till April 6th. All right, while I wait for Jason to come back to the car, word on the street with all the clerks and people in the stores, there's no toilet paper at any of the stores. And someone said that your best bet is to order it from Amazon. So I think that was the last thing on our list that we really feel like we need to stock up on. We have toilet paper. We have a whole like pack from Costco still and all the bathrooms are stocked up, but I don't know how long this is gonna last. So we're just gonna go ahead and order something well, from, I don't think Target's gonna have it. No, no, I don't wanna go to Target. Um, but I mean, people are gonna get toilet paper. You can only poop so much. So everybody's stocked up now. There will be toilet paper later. It's not like there's a... Well then, should we not worry about it and wait for Costco to get stocked up again? I guess so, I mean. Give Costco a couple days and they'll get a new shipment, oh, right? Oh, they will, oh, they will. They've been, they're probably ramping it up. Their buyers are probably a oh, little crud, you know. It takes a couple days probably, but. All right, then let's just wait. We'll wait, we'll wait. I'm, I'm worried about it, but. If everybody got all their toilet paper, it's, they're not gonna go through it any faster than they normally do. I know. Um, oh, oh, okay. Totally all right, well, we'll show you if we can at the home. This doesn't even give you diarrhea, so it's not like you'd go. Oh my goodness <laughs> sakes, we don't even talk about that. I'm just saying, like, I don't know why everyone got toilet paper. They got toilet paper because it created a mass hysteria. Yeah. Um, I need drink. The one lady was in there, the cashier, she said, the first round of people that came to get toilet paper that you could tell that they were stocking up were people that were the workers from the retirement centers. 
from all over the place are coming to get toilet paper because they know that their uh, facilities are going on lockdown because that is the ground zero of the first cases of the virus here in Washington State and the first death came from a care facility. So they're kind of putting their facilities on lockdown and so once they started buying all the toilet paper up then that creates a hysteria of oh that's what they need to stock up on okay I'm gonna stock up on that not really fully understanding why it was bought in the first place so we'll wait we'll see if in a couple days they have it stocked up at Costco again and we'll just get it from there but we'll show you when we get home I'm not sure where you're oh you're just my buckle needs to be done up but we'll show you at home as we unload what we got but I'm not gonna do a whole like load it onto the counter and show you everything all fancy and nice because it's 8 30 I'm exhausted and I want to go to bed but we will show you kind of what we stocked up on outside of the stuff we already showed you all right so we're gonna show you here as best we can um, this is the stuff we just got from Fred Meyer this is all pasta it's all pasta let's just put it on the shelf and we can figure it out later so just from Costco we'll go through that stuff got Jason's animal crackers got two more gallons of milk even though we still have three gallons in the fridge we're just gonna stock up we got this at Fred Meyer as well cooking oil we got sour cream and a jar of Parmesan cheese from Costco we got chips and my case of coke we got three or four boxes of the Nutri-Grain because it was on a rebate and this is a good thing to have on back stock if everything hits the fan basically so then we need to get this guy in the freezer there's our crushed garlic pasta we got a case of green beans box of nature valley granola bars this was more of a pleasure item um bacon will make chelsea happy if we really are quarantined here for two weeks got a box of pizzas i think there's what three or four of them in there we got two or three boxes oh three or four boxes of cereal as well as some fruit snacks wheat thins um gogurts butter and cheese we got these um nature's bakery fig bars and way back here we got my breakfast drinks and last but not least some string cheese because that lasts forever we were gonna end the video and our kids just conveniently came down the second we're done unloading everything from the car. You should be asleep, though. Everyone's awake. Everyone's awake. Okay. Everyone's awake now. Say hello, everyone. Because it's too short. Say hi. How rude. <laughs> Sorry. Not I mean, I'm short. like up to she's your just, shoulders. Um, so we, right have a, we have a bad, bad news. What? Toilet paper was the one thing we couldn't find. Sold out everywhere. In everywhere. Town. Costco, oh, Fred oh, Meyer, so Target. So what you have to do, girls? What you have to do is you take the toilet paper, you put one a square. hole in the middle, put your finger through it, and then you wet. Ew! You are so <laughs> disgusting. I was thinking the same thing though. I'm saying use your hand. So gross. Poop kills Corona. Um, we are ending this. We are tired, and obviously we have a whole gonna, household we're to put break away. Into our emergency stash. Well, that's your emergency stash. I got you fruit snacks, but I, you cannot open them right now, Chelsea. That right here. That's Save this for when you're out and about. All right, Jason. Let's say good night. Save it for when you're out. We're done. Good night, guys. Say good night. We are almost Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah, All right, we're out. That's good. That's we're good. almost coronavirus prepped, almost. <laughs> but apparently, we need toilet paper. So, we peace got out. Paper towels. Well, I know that was the second thing to go was paper towels because everyone's like, "Well, if I don't have toilet paper, I'll use paper towels." Should I use this? Mm. <laughs> go to bed. It's worse when it's white. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. And then we'll All right, really quick, I'm on my Fetch app, and I got 50 points from Fred Meyer, and I got a. 511 from Costco. So, woohoo!